Hi there, I'm John and welcome to Lucky Losers, the channel with content for all. And today, in this video, we're going to have a look at the next series of English Just For You. And it's conditionals. Conditional sentences are those which use if, unless and when. And there are uh, four, five conditionals that are generally in use in the English language. That's the zero, which is always the first, which refers to possibilities and probabilities into the future. The second, which are improbable or impossible. And the third, which we're going to look at today. Uh, I featured the first two. Uh, the zero with the first and the second in my previous videos so you may want to have to check them out <laughs> oh lucky losers oh lucky losers so today it's all about the third conditional and third conditional relates to the past and past events which either happened or didn't happen but the fact is they cannot be changed and they reflect something some kind of regret too uh, but not always um, the third conditional is constructed in the conditional clause with the if plus the past perfect which is had or hadn't and the past participle which is the third form of the verb um, in the results clause we've got the would wouldn't have was the past participle rather that's the most difficult aspect I shouldn't say difficult that's the most challenging aspect of the third conditional and that is to remember how it is constructed that's what my students have problems with um, with that construction as well so it needs plenty of practice here are some examples then of the uh, third conditional um, first one then if I had studied more I would have passed the exam I would have not would of uh, there are some English speakers native speakers who say would of it's not an of it's a have I would have pronounced softly I would have passed the exam so I didn't study hard I didn't study any more and I failed the exam so it's too late so I'm expressing some kind of regret uh, the second if example I'd have gone there if I had if it hadn't rained but the fact is I didn't go there because it rained so uh, it's an action that I didn't happen that didn't happen because something else stopped it from happening and that means um, it's too late of course to change now, in the third example we've got a question just to demonstrate how um, to construct it we can start off with the results clause uh, by the way I'd have gone there if it hadn't rained there's no comma after the uh, results clause and before the conditional clause whereas if we start with the conditional and we're writing we need a comma there so back to the third sentence would she have taken the job if you had offered it to her and we don't know because the fact is uh, um, you didn't offer her that job so it didn't happen again that action didn't happen so we're only speculating in this case. So those are the examples. Uh, this little diagram uh, just shows us the first example. If I had studied more, I would have passed the exam. Um, it's, a, it's a regret. I failed the exam. I didn't study. That's the pass here. I didn't study. And now I have some regret looking back. It's too late to change unless I do the exam at some time in the future so I will know that if I study more I will pass the exam in future 
So that's a possibility using the first conditional, by the way. So once again, we've come to uh, the part where we can come across all these conditionals in different songs that we, we've all heard of, perhaps. Some are more famous than others, as in today's case. And the first song which shows us the third conditional is by an artist called Chris Stapleton. It's quite an old song. It's the original. There's been a few covers of this song since then. Um, and here we see the uh, lyrics which I want to highlight. I never would have hitchhiked. Hitchhike means to stop somebody's car and take a lift and go somewhere. You have to stand by the road and hitchhike. So I never would have hitchhiked to Birmingham if, I, if it hadn't been for love. So, in this case he did hitchhike to Birmingham and the reason was uh, because of love. So that's sort of the opposite, there's no regret there. Um, it's the other way around something he did because of something else and, and he's looking back into the past there so the song goes something I like I'll, I'll, tr I'll just try and sort of demonstrate it uh, in my own way I never would have hitchhiked to Birmingham if it hadn't been for love so it goes something like that and here I'll just play a fragment if you can hear it there you go right I'm not sure if uh, mine sounds like that I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor that's an old hit much more famous than uh, the previous one um, and in that song she sings if I had known for just one second you'd have been back to bother me in fact she sings she'd be back to bother me uh, I've added that you'd have been back to bother me she didn't know and nobody came to bother her to annoy her to irritate her uh, so uh, just my little rendition of that if I had known for just one second you'd have been back to bother me something like that well, let's hear the Gloria Gaynor part. Part, sorry. There you go. So there you are, that's the third conditional. Um, I'd like you to try these and send them to me in the comments. Your answers. Maybe a reward if you get them all right. So if I know you were ill, I visit you, first one. He not try this if she not persuade him, second one. This time starting with the results clause. And uh, here another one, if he not be on a diet, he eat that ice cream. Uh, they're all third conditional sentences, so if you'd like to have a go at them, there may be a reward on your way, in fact there will be a reward. Uh, so just put the answers in your comments or if you know me personally just send me a message either on the messenger service or by email or by text message so that's the third conditional um, in the next uh, edition of English just for you uh, we'll be looking at mixed conditionals and wish the word wish yeah. so um, just following this video there'll be a little surprise as a new member of our family which you'll find out about just after I finish this edition so thanks again for watching I hope you do understand it don't forget if you have any comments or questions uh, just put them in and don't forget to give me the thumbs up that like button and if you're not already a subscriber Hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get further notifications of my videos and of course um, i'm going to throw this at you because I, I love you all so thanks once again see you next time bye
And don't forget to subscribe. Lucky losers. Oh, lucky losers, oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky loo. Oh, lucky losers, oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky loo. Oh, lucky losers, oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky loo. Oh, lucky losers, oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky loo. Cha, cha, cha. Thank you.